hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna draw an eyeball so let's get started first you might need to draw a square always start your draw your drawing in the middle of the paper so it can stand out better you know make it look more professional okay this square will be six by six centimeters so each side will be six by six Uh, I'm using an HB. I'm using actually. I'm using a two H pencil. So this is really light. It's a light pencil. Okay, by the way, don't make it too round because if you do, it's gonna be looking like too computerized. If I spell it right, uh, don't make it too round because, like, you have to make it look more, you know, like a wheel, something, something not computerized. <laughs> Once you're done with the same HB or 2H pencil, whatever light pencil you, don't, you have on your hand, and then you start doing this, what you do is you go really light. You see the way this line goes, you just have to shade and the way the lines are going. You just follow the lines. So you just do it like that really light lightly just like that What you're gonna do from this line 
it's like half of this line you just gonna cut it randomly you don't have to do nothing like exact measure of both you just randomly do that and each when you get to each of these design either you call it down or the or you call it up you make it go down or you make it go up a little bit don't go too hard on it you see here i call it up and then here I'm, i might make i might make it down put down here up okay randomly you know it doesn't have to be the exact way for both but you get the idea all right So yeah, it's really simple, but always remember this line that we made before, you guys gotta remember them, you know, all right. Now, outside of this trick that we just made over here, we're gonna keep going with the same technique. But this time, we're gonna make them like closer look. We're gonna make them closer than this one. So it's gonna be really close and don't press hard on the pencil. And we're going to do the same, we're going on the same direction as the lines. You don't remember where the lines are if it's like not really obvious you're just gonna follow this error you see like uh, all this you're just gonna follow each of them like means like each of the, if each of them means like there's a line that caused these you see what i mean so if you don't really see the lines it's fine just follow this the direction where they go and then you will find it because you got you will need it to start doing that so now what you're gonna do is instead of they were like this now you're gonna make instead of one you're gonna make two like that it's like you're doing a leaf but it's not really a leaf you know what i mean on each of the line so let's say for example the line let's say for example the, the line was like that now you're gonna do this on the line it's like a leaf you know on each of the lines So, so you're gonna fill it up 
and when you're filling it up don't try to put it all the way make it like get to the circle the circle of the, the don't try to make it to get to the circle of the of the paper this is the paper so try to make it like right here okay right here just like that you don't have to press too hard on the pencil Okay, once you're done doing that, now what you're gonna do is this empty space, you see this empty space over here, you're just gonna make some, some line out of them. You can start from the from the top going down like this. You see, you don't have to do a lot, but don't don't put it, don't go all the way down to the circle, okay? Just leave it almost in halfway. You don't have to make a lot of them. Okay. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is from the halfway that I told you to, to keep it, you're just gonna do this little bit movement by, do, by doing the same exercise as the L. So everything goes like this. So we just live in we just live in some space over here. That's what we're doing right now. Now you can shade a little bit using a toilet paper tissue, you know, something clean. You don't go too hard. Okay. And you do this too. You see, even I'm, even I'm, I'm blending. Even I'm blending, I follow the same movement as the as the lines. You see, I don't do it like that. I do it like that. You see, really simple. And then now you're gonna make the iris really dark. So you're gonna use. Uh, you're gonna make the you're gonna make the not the iris you mean uh, I mean the the paper you're gonna make the paper really dark you're gonna use your your darkest pencil so you can make it really dark like if you have um 8b pencil okay 
if B, 12 V, I don't know. Okay, so now once you're done making the the purple the purple dark, you're gonna use the same tissue so make it like a little bit sharp like this and then you're gonna you're just gonna do it like that, you see? You're just taking some of the powder in the middle, you're just taking some more of it. You're just doing that. Once you're done, you get the same B, yeah, 3B or 2B pencil that you're using. You just do the same thing, make them make this darker because as you can see, they apparently they're not anymore. You make you make them pop a little bit. Remember to, to not going all the way down. Keep it like this. Now you can use 5B, 6B or 8B, I don't know, whatever. You can use the same, almost the same pencil you did the, uh, you did the uh, purple to make it darker because you will need it darker. Okay, um, just watch this and you guys will get it. Oh, one, one, another thing. From each error go, that goes like this, you can go up with this, like you can make it like together, you can, you see, like for each error that goes like this, I take this, I stick it with it, you know. same HV pencil you remember the line that I told you guys you can draw this line so 
it doesn't matter where you draw it since you draw it like that and you don't go all the way down Now with the same Twibby pencil, you remember these? You remember these guys? Like the the leaf that I told you about in this circle. We're gonna make some kind of these leaf over here on the outside also. But these these are not gonna be too big. Okay. You see these? When you get when you get them over here. You're just making like like waves and stuff you see it's like the wave the wave is like that it's like they be like that okay they, they don't they don't really look like straight they go going like a little bit in curves
when you get through here, what you're gonna do with the same pencil is doing that. You see the movement? It's like, it goes like that. Now take the 8B pencil, make it sharp, make it really sharp and then what you're gonna do, you're gonna start over here, you're gonna take it from the circle to go up, make the lines, you're gonna make the lines really close and then you're not gonna make straight line, you're gonna make it curvy, you know, like that waving and stuff like that. Let me show you what I mean. Instead of making it like that, you're gonna make it, you see? Really close. Sometimes if you make some straight lines, it's good, you know? But you gotta make it exactly like that. And then you make the bottom really dark. Over here, you make it really dark. You see? You make this dark over here, and then you make some lines. Go up like that. Sometimes, you leave, you leave a little bit space. Like, you, got, you sometimes you leave some space like this. You don't do nothing with this space. And then you keep going. Just randomly, you know, you don't have to do exactly the way I'm doing it, but you get the idea. pencil really sharp it will be better okay
let's make let's make some some bigger hole. Let's make a hole over here. No, over here. We're gonna blend like that instead. Let's see, blend going up. I put in the description. I put in the description below what type of materials that I'm using for this drawing. So you guys, if you wanna buy it, I don't have any affiliate link yet or some kind of stuff like that, but I still put the name of the materials, you know. I have this one, this one, we're gonna use this one. If you guys can get one of these, if you're really interested in drawing, you should get this one. This really, this really helps for a lot of details. This is a mechanical eraser the name of it, or the, I'll put the name of it in the description below. So yeah, you guys see how, how I really do it, you know. I don't do it like that. And now we can see where we're missing some dark, some dark spot. We can go and put more dark in some area. When you put in the dark, if you, if you put in gold all the way down, like this area, you don't have to do wasting time do it like that. You can go faster like this, you know. same 8B pencil we go in the middle remember the middle we make this darker also this little hole
has the pencil you know you don't push with you don't push all at all you go really light on the pencil but it's hb it's 8b i'm sorry um what you do is like between the inside and the outside like in the middle of the of the circle you go lightly on it you go really light on it and now get a new tissue toilet paper you know and then you go really light really light you know you don't push hard you go really light You can take the same tissue, you can do that all over this because this is too light, you know, there's too much light over here. You can do this, make it dark a little bit, but you will see, you will still be able to see the difference, you know. Now what you're going to do, if you have another type of eraser that could do this work, it will be good guys because you're going to need this one. What you're going to do is, you remember the same first line that I told you about guys, but this one going to be random, really random, so let, let me show you. Some of them will be like that, some of them will be like that, some of them will be straight, okay? But before we get into this, I want to do something else. I'm sorry. Well, you're not missing missing anything, you know? You're not messed up anything. I just have to do that, you know? You know, from almost from the same lines we draw before, even we can't see them right now anymore. What we're going to do is like, you're gonna make some of the darkness go out of the circle a little bit, not too much.
I'm just I'm just using these mechanical pencils so I can I can add up a little bit extra details but I'm technically done you know um, I'm just adding the details, I'm just making this like, like this, you know, a little bit curves. Guys, I don't like uh, I don't like the way the pencil leave this texture. I have like some uh, powder. I have some powder that I used to draw. I'm just gonna add in a little bit powder in this area. But if you guys don't have powder, it's fine. I'm just I don't like the way. The pencil messed up.
this area. powder pencil when using powder or uh, charcoal powder it's better to you know to use this thing so you can blur like everything I just want I just want this area to be a little bit blur but the pencil already messed it up you know so let me see if I can fix it Okay, that's it. But one last thing. We need to make some light reflection so it could be looking more realistic, you know what I mean? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put some light reflect.
all right this is the final work this is the final pictures i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please make sure to subscribe and see you guys on the next video you guys take care bye